Here we go! Join the resistance. Holiday, 2017. And now, we've just got less than a year until we really do join the resistance. And I, for one, am very excited for what the resistance may entail. But what is the resistance? More importantly, who could be the leader of said resistance? Hey everybody, it is the Leo Gojem, here to join the resistance and see what's going to be up with Sonic and Friends in Project 2017. Now, to answer the first question of what the resistance is, we first need to take a look at the situation that this game has presented to us. From the initials trailer, we've seen that the world, or at the very least, that city, that may or may not be City Escape, has been taken over by what appears to be Dr. Eggman or some other force that has overtaken these three Death Egg robots, and what we can assume to be the rest of Eggman's army as well. By the looks of things, Sonic and friends seem to have failed at least some sort of battle or string of battles that have left things in the state that they are. And now, the Resistance, whatever it may be, is fighting against this threat to Sonic's world. Now the world is in ruins, and the Resistance is out to save the day from whoever this supposed Overlord may be. The word Resistance has several meanings, but the two very relative definitions are an armed or violent opposition and a secret organization resisting authority especially in an occupied country. Let's see... Armed? Check. Violence? <laughs> oh, check! But the other one, a secret organization resisting authority, especially in an occupied country, well, we know that the world is at least under somebody's control, so they are definitely the authority. But the world, or at the very least, this city, are in complete ruins, under the complete control of whoever this may be, then it would make sense for the operation to be done in secret. The Resistance would be doing just that, resisting whoever it is that they, well, are resisting. When I think of such a movement, and in the context that we've been given so far, I can't help but think of the resistance that was presented to us in Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. You know, without the edgy black outfits and with the dimensional shenanigans being replaced with time travel shenanigans with the presence of classic Sonic. We'd have Sonic and friends making war with whoever this may be, given that Sonic and friends would be mostly in hiding doing little missions, and throughout the course of the game have bigger events that will probably turn the tide of whatever this may be. They'll stick to lurking in the shadows and choosing when and what to do, rather than leading full-out attacks all the time. It's just a pity that they have this blue idiot who will more than likely be reckless and irresponsible, doing whatever he can to try and free the people as quickly as possible due to his caring nature and being all about freedom for all people. Sonic won't want to just sit around while others are suffering, and because of that, he's going to do what he does best. Run. Even if it means putting himself in harm's way, like we saw in the trailer. With that problem on their hands, the Resistance is going to need a proper leader in order to not only rein in Sonic, but to keep the Resistance organized and in the right position to stop whoever's put the world in danger. But who would be able to fill this role? Well first, let's look at all the characters who have appeared in Sonic games for the past 11 years who don't fit the bill. In my personal opinion, Amy, Omega, Silver the Hedgehog, Princess Elise, Mephiles, Chip, Professor Pickle, Orbot, Cubot, Yakker, Cream the Rabbit, Team Chaotix, The Deadly Six, Maureen, Six the Badger, and other Boom characters, Shara, Eraser Jin, Jet, Wave, Storm, Merlena, King Arthur, and whoever else you could possibly think of that won't be mentioned as I move forward will probably not be the leader of the Resistance for what should be obvious reasons. So that leaves us with eight characters who I think could stand a chance at being leader of the Resistance. For starters, we'll divide the characters into three categories. 
very likely, a possibility, and most definitely not. First up, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. The reason Sonic could possibly be the leader of the Resistance is due to his personality and by the plain and simple fact that he's the titular character of the series. I mean, he's strong and he cares so much for his friends and, well, just about anything. He believes in nothing but freedom for all and will do anything to fight for that. And honestly, he can handle almost anything that's thrown at him. The thing is, Sonic is also very reckless and wants to get things done as quickly as possible. His impatience would honestly be the downfall of Resistance, and because of that, I don't think he should be the one leading it. But despite everything, he's still the titular character, so I'll put him in the possibly ca category. Then there's Tails. Young, intelligent, and adventurous, Miles per hour has proven time and time again that he is in fact a very valued and respected member of Team Heroes, being able to prove that he doesn't need Sonic around to protect him anymore. Tails' intelligence would serve him well as leader of the Resistance. Unlike his fast-footed friend, he's careful, sets plans, and actually thinks things through rather than just rushing into them. Not only that, but despite his age, he's a very well-respected member of the Sonic cast. Aside from it probably having a bit of an odd feel to have Sonic and friends being ordered around by Tails, I have no other reason for him not to be the leader of the Resistance. So because of this, I personally put him down as the better possibilities on my list. With that, I put him in the very likely category. Another possibility is Knuckles the Echidna. Now Knuckles could be leader of the Resistance due to his being guardian of the Master Apple. Not only is he serious about everything that happens in the games, making sure that Sonic stays focused, but if the Emerald, or even worse, the Master Emerald, is involved, he's gonna have a pretty good reason to lead the cause. And seeing as this is the type of game that is more than likely to have a supersonic finale, I'd imagine that the Chaos Emeralds are more than likely involved, and it would be nice to see the Master Emerald again. But with that reason being there, I personally don't think it would be him, due to his being rash and, overall, gullible. Knuckles is a good leader in terms of smaller missions, but I don't think he'd be able to lead an entire organized cause with how he is. Plus, his hot-headedness and impulsive nature just make him no good in that regard. So with that, I'm putting him in the most definitely not category. I just don't see Knuckles being the leader of the resistance. Then there's Shadow the Hedgehog, the Edgemeister McGee. Shadow would be a good idea because he has a lot of knowledge from his past experiences on the gun. It'd be natural that somehow he'd know how to fight a war of sorts and lead everyone to victory. Shadow has his head on his shoulders and looks at a situation logically. He'd be able to keep everybody in check. Not only that, but if the entire world is in devastation, Shadow would be, well, devastated. Or he'd think that Maria would be devastated, and that would drive him to want to save the world for Maria's sake. That's what she would have wanted. But now, here's why I don't think Shadow would be the leader of the Resistance. He's too busy looking for that fourth Chaos Emerald! Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? <laughs> no, for real. I see Shadow as someone who wouldn't be interested in leading the group, despite his reasons for fighting. In fact, Shadow at times can be shown not to be a team player, so it's even possible that he can play things solo, although I doubt that to be the case for this game. Shadow seems more like the powerful field agent type. His determination will see him through to the very end, and if the leader is someone he respects, then he'll take their orders and carry them out well. For this reason, I would like to put Shadow in the possibly section. Now we have Rouge the Bat. And like Shadow, I personally believe that she could be a possibility due to her gut knowledge and the fact that she's been a spy for a long time. Using this army sort of stuff, she could lead the team. Well, the problem with Rouge, though, is that she's a spy and has played different sides before. I'm not saying that the Resistance wouldn't trust her to lead, I'm just saying she would be a little shifty. 
Not only that, but Rouge has almost always had some sort of ulterior motive in every game that she's appeared in. So if she was leading the resistance, there'd be some questions. It's because of that, Rouge the Bat joins Knuckles in my most definitely not category. And now we have Blaze the Cat. Blaze is probably the character I can see the most. Blaze is an extremely powerful character with the ability to manipulate flames, run at incredible speeds, and even read chaos energies. She seriously is a force to be reckoned with. But not only is Blaze incredibly powerful, but she has the logical sense of reasoning and thinking that surpasses Tails and rivals Shadows. She is selfless and brave and is always putting others before her. And we know from Sonic 06 that she believes in the freedom of people and will do anything to have that. Being a princess and all, she definitely has the leadership to boot. To say the characters wouldn't trust Blaze would be ridiculous, given that, as of generations, they seem to be on friendly terms with her. And if the name Sonic Inferno really is true, which I doubt, but if it is, then that's definitely in her favor. The only issue is where exactly Blaze exists in the Sonic universe that causes a bit of controversy with her. But as far as generations, it seems she exists somewhere in Sonic's world, so she's around. Because of this, I'm putting Blaze in the more than likely section. And to me, she's the most likely based on her character and a narrative perspective alone. And then there's the new character. I sincerely doubt this because it would be awkward to put a character we know nothing about in charge. For all we know, they could be the next Cream the Rabbit, but it's also the fact that we don't know them that we can't really pinpoint where they'd be. So they go between possibly and most definitely not. So with that, we have Tails and Blaze in the very likely party, Sonic, Shadow in the possibility party, Knuckles and Rouge in the most definitely not, and the new character in some odd category between possibly and most definitely not. Personally, as I previously stated, I think Blaze is the character most likely to be the Resistance leader, and that all the characters I've mentioned before, with the exception of Rouge, will have at least some sort of major role in the game. Or maybe, the Resistance won't even have an official leader. It'll be a complete group effort that just kind of does their own thing and they all just work everything out together. But personally, I believe in the notion of a leader of the Resistance. What do you guys think though? Do you think that I'm right about Blaze? Or are you thinking that it'll be someone else? Did I miss anybody that you think stands a chance to be a Resistance leader? Do you think it may not have one at all? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video and want to hear more from me, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But thanks so much for watching, and with all that being said, this has been the Leoka Gem, Warping Out.